In this video, we're going to look at irony. Now, irony occurs when the reality is different to expectation. That is the overarching definition of irony. We're now going to look at three different types of irony, all of which can be shoehorned into that definition. So the first one we're going to look at is verbal irony. Verbal irony is like sarcasm. Here you can see the girl in the picture saying, yay, great weather. So the expectation of those words is that it's sunny and it's shiny and it's great weather. But actually the reality is different. She's being sarcastic. So verbal irony is a synonym for sarcasm. The next type of irony is dramatic irony. Dramatic irony is an event the significant of which is known only to the observers typically the audience at a play, but not the participants, typically the actors. Here we can see an example where we can see that there's a great big shark following the canoe, but the canoeist doesn't know the shark's there. We know it's there, he doesn't. That's an example of dramatic irony. The third one we're going to look at, situational irony. Now, this is the one that everybody thinks about when they consider irony. And it's an event that seems to mock the circumstances. So here you can see, nothing is written in stone. Now those words are literally written in stone. That seems to mock the circumstance. That's an example of situational irony. So here are some more examples. Verbal irony. That's just what I needed. Said sarcastically. In other words, it isn't. I'm so glad it's raining. You're not glad it's raining. It's sarcasm. Dramatic irony. There's no evil witch here. Well, this is a typical behind you moment that you might see in a pantomime. So you could imagine an actor saying that and all the audience know that there is an evil witch behind the person who's speaking. And then one from Romeo and Juliet. Beauty's enzyme yet is crimson in thy lips and in thy cheeks. So this is Romeo wrongly believing that Juliet is dead and he prepares to take the poison to join her. Now, we know she's not dead. He doesn't. That's an example of dramatic irony. And then some examples of situational irony. Let's examine the words hyphenated and non-hyphenated. So the idea that the word non-hyphenated is actually hyphenated is an example of situational irony. You're the best English teacher ever. Well, clearly the English teacher isn't that good because her student is unable to use the right version of your. An example of situational irony. So, that was the three versions of irony. Let's do a quick summary. Irony occurs when reality is different to the expectation. And remember, there are three types of irony. It's not all just about situational irony. There's verbal irony, sarcasm. There's dramatic irony, when the audience knows but the actor doesn't. And then there's situational irony, and that's when events occur, seemingly in mockery of the situation. That's all. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on GrammarMonster.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook.